Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use capacities.io as a beginner. So I'm going to tell you what exactly capacities.io is about and what it functions as. Okay, so I'd like you to know that capacities.io is a note-taking web application and it is not just your usual note-taking application. Uh, it is very amazing in the sense that you would not just be able to manage notes, but you can also manage people involved in the project. And then it allows you to create blocks, mini blocks of letters and customize it to whatever you want using anything the best suits you. Now let's hop into capacities.io. Okay, so first I would like you to launch any browser of your choice. Right here, I'm actually using Chrome. So use any browser of your choice and at the top corner, you're gonna find the search bar. In the search bar, go ahead and type capacities.io and it's going to take you to this marvelous website. This is the official, uh, official website, okay? And um, I'm just gonna have to click an open app here because I have already created an account. But in case you have not created an account, it's pretty much simple. You're going to see the option to get started or to sign up. Follow through with all of the processes needed to create an account. And once you're done creating an account, you'll be good to go and your dashboard will be created. So here, I'm just going to have to click on open app. Of course, you're going to have to go through some steps to verify your account. You know, just create your account. And you have to also verify your account and all. So this is it. And this is my dashboard. I like to call it my writing studio. So right here, I can now you know, navigate um, all of these options to actually have a great time writing. As you can see, something very unique about capacities is that at the right corner, you're gonna see a date. You're gonna see the calendar right here. So you can definitely name or save your writing project based on the date that you started writing or you can even schedule. So right here um, at the left corner, you're gonna find some options. We're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the options right now. So this is it, we have new content. So if you wanna write a new content, just go ahead and click on that and you'll be able to write a new content. I'm gonna take it down before we start exploring all of the features one after the other. And then here you have get started. It's going to walk you through all of the step-by-step -step processes that you need to go over capacities.io. And then you have calendar, go to calendar, and then we have the press shot caught twice to jump to today. And then we have um, a studio for your, I don't know, we have this pinned, and then we have objects. So these are daily notes, and these are images, these are pages, these are tags, and these are web links. I just want you to know that all of these things can be embedded or embedded in your writing. You don't have to go through all of these objects from here. They are actually shortcuts that you can use to start writing and of course to apply all of these features to it. So let's say we want to start writing and we have created or want to create a new block so that we can start doing whatever we want. So here it says Wednesday and this is September 13th. All right, it means I wrote something in September 13th, which was yesterday, but I don't want to go over that. I just want to start something new. So I'm just going to have to head over to the calendar that says 14th because I want to write today. So I'm going to just click on September 14th and you see um, it's just all new. So it means I can start working afresh. So here is September 14th and here it says daily notes and it says start your daily notes. Okay, let's say my daily notes in this first block. I'm just going to have to write um, motivation for writers. Okay, this is motivation for writers. Now, I don't just want to leave this bare. I want to make it bold so that when, or I just want to make it bold or just bolden it so that when I want to create more blocks, there's going to be a clear cut difference between the headline, which is what I want to use as my headline, and whatever I'm going to write after. So this is motivation for writers. I'm just going to have to highlight this. And as I've highlighted it, you're going to see more options at the top corner. So this is 
country B, which is bolding, and I said I really wanted that, and this is italic, so you can also have the option of italicizing, and this is indent block if you want that, and on indent block, and this is the space for links, so if you have links that you want to add to it, just go ahead and click on link, and add the link that you want to add, and whatever link is going to be added to this, or removed. All right, but I don't want that. And here already telling me that I should add tags. So I'm just going to use knowledge management and that's just pretty fine for me. So this is motivation for writers. And um, I'm just going to have to click on Ctrl Z. So that's Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z is on too. And this is tags. I'm just going to leave it at knowledge management and all. So this is motivation for writers. I just want to leave it right there. So there are options I'm just going to keep. I'm just going to highlight it again. So these are all the options. Okay, so here you can add codes if you want to add codes. And then this is formula and this is highlight text. And these are extra icons that we can add to actually make our blocks look really cool. And what is this plus icon? Go ahead and click on the plus icon and it's going to take you to more options. So you can add a new page. All right. So if you want to create a new page, just go ahead and enter this particular option that they say to create or um, backward slash all right to enter a title and then you can also add an image to actually make this content really spicy or you can add a web link or a tweet or um, a pdf file you can embed a pdf file or an audio if you go through all of these processes, you're going to see that it's pretty much easier for you to customize your content. So let's say I want to create a new blog. So this is motivation for writers. And I am just going to have to click on enter. And I am writing. I just, I just want writers to be the best of themselves so as you can see that this is already looking really cool and I can just keep I can just go ahead and write more and more as I want to or add whatever I want to add so let's say I just want writers to be the best of themselves so click to insert block below all right so if I go ahead and click this plus I'm gonna have to you know um, create another block below or the shift click to insert block above all right so this is shift and then click to insert block above and then if you click on this plus it's going to insert the block below so let's say i'm going to insert a new block below and then but in this block all i just want to do is for my keyboard and i'm going to go to image because i want to drag and drop an image that is really going to make sense so i'm just i'm just going to click on select file so it's going to take me to my systems file and I'm just going to select any image let's say this is an image and I'm just going to click on open so as you can see my note is already looking good so this is just it and um, this is my note and if I take it back to another day, let's say 15th September to create something this is and then I take it to 14th you're going to see this so it has already been saved automatically so if i want to add a new page i can just go ahead and click on this where the cursor is and i'll be able to add a new page so this is pretty much of about um, capacities.io and how to use it in case you're a beginner you can just run through this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you sir